Today I'm going to make a couple salt and pepper shakers to give away as gifts. Every time that I go on a long distance trip to visit friends or family, which is a couple times a year, I like to bring something that I can give as a gift. People like receiving gifts and they really like gifts that are uh, handmade or, or something that you've made. Salt and pepper shakers are extremely easy to make. I'm going to batch out a couple sets and just have them on hand. The dominant wood in these shakers is going to be sapili, and for a contrast, I'm going to be using some maple. When making these, it's much easier to assemble a larger blank and then cut it into multiple pieces rather than make multiple salt and pepper shakers and have to glue all those individual assemblies up. thin strip of maple can be glued in the middle and the resulting blank will be enough material for uh, four individual salt and pepper shakers. I'm using the jointer and table saw to trim the blank down into a two inch by two inch square and then from there the individual salt and pepper shakers can be cut out. For the main cavity that will hold the actual salt and pepper material, I'll drill a one and a half inch hole in the top side of all the blanks. I went ahead and milled some maple and sapili stock to designate the salt and pepper. The salt shakers will have both a maple top and bottom and the pepper shakers will have both a sapili top and bottom. I use my belt sander to flush up the top and bottoms with all of these sides. And at this point, if you get confused which side is the top, which side is the bottom, remember that a bunch of material was removed from the top side. So if you try and balance this right in the middle, whatever side it leans towards, that's the bottom side. Now on the bottom of all of these, we need to cut uh, some uh, a recess basically to uh, allow your fingers some room to grab the cork which is what which is what will plug the bottom of all of the shakers. I'm just using the same diameter large force in the bit that I used before. To plug the bottom I'm using a cork. This is a tapered cork. I used to buy these uh, locally but I couldn't find them and locally you could get them for like uh, five bucks or so for just four of these and on Amazon I bought a bag of 100 for less than ten dollars. So it's a 12 millimeter on the bottom side and 16 millimeter on the top side tapered cork. And somewhere right along the, the middle of that uh, will stop a half inch hole. So on the bottom of all of these salt and pepper shakers, I'll drill a, drill a half inch through hole. And then this particular tapered cork will fit in there nice and neat. And the recess has a lot of room for your fingers to grab the cork to fill this up. For the actual salt and pepper holes, I just do a simple corner to corner cross uh, or X and just uh, make a couple holes, five holes per uh, salt and pepper shaker. Uh, on the salt though, the center hole is the only hole that I make all the way through. The other ones are just decorative because typically salt comes out really fast. I'm, gonna, I'm going to be using a 1 16th of an inch drill bit. If more salt is desired to flow through the top, then you could always drill those holes all the way through at a later time. Uh, but for pepper, all five holes get drilled all the way through. 